What's up, mentorship freaks? This is the daily dose of mentorship motivator. And we are talking today about risks, taking risks. When should you take a risk? When shouldn't you? Are you taking too many risks? Or what's the deal? First, let's start with saying this. I guarantee you aren't taking enough risks. I guarantee for the most part, you're not, you're, you're on the far end of avoiding risks. And I like to answer that question with this. Of course, my little wristband, which I've used this for many occasions. I'm sure this saying could save world peace, could cause world peace, whatever the hell it's called. Don't be a little bitch when it comes to risk taking. Love that saying. Don't be a little bitch when it comes to risk taking because you're probably not taking enough risk. Probably too scared on the one side of it. So, and we're talking calculated risks here. We're not talking reckless. There's a difference between risks, risk taking and freaking reckless. And you know, though, at wartime, they've, they've, generals have been quoted as saying they make decisions. And we're talking life or death decisions where there could be hundreds or thousands of lives at stake on the line. And they're making life or death decisions with somewhere, anywhere between 40 and 70% of the information available. That means as little as 40%. Now that's talk about taking a risk, but that's what it takes to get, be successful, to be victorious, to go to the next freaking level. To crush your enemy. That's what it takes. Taking those risks that no one else is going to take. Of course, smart, calculated risks. So if you're sitting around, let me tell you this. If you're sitting around waiting for 100% of the information to come in, you're going to be waiting for freaking ever. It's never going to happen. Even a, even a large percent of the information. If you're just waiting for more information, you don't even know if that information is is accurate, if it's valid. That could be false information. That could be, especially in a, in a high-stakes world, on the battlefield, you don't even know if that's accurate information. So sitting around waiting for more information is going to do nothing for you. So you are probably not taking enough risk. You're probably waiting for too much information. Don't do it. And as you could see, we did. We talked about about prioritizing and decision making in the last last couple of weeks. So you can see decision making and risk taking. They're like intertwined. They're they're almost the same thing. They're totally together. So risks. Where should you be taking risks? You should be taking risks with your prospects with your team, with your current clients, with your family, your friends, your neighbors, your fucking enemies, you should be taking risks in all those areas. You should be taking risks with your prospects, taking risks asking the hard questions, taking a risk digging a little bit deeper for that pain even though you just met them, not worrying about that that you're going to offend them or whatever. Risk offending them, fuck it. Some of those people, we had this, this client come in, our sales consultant did the consultation with them for the gym. And she pulled the whole husband thing, of course, and we did, and she didn't close this deal, by the way. She did, she did the whole husband objection thing, and our salesperson went through our whole process we do and wasn't getting through to her. So she asks her, she says, so would you need to talk to your husband if you were buying a $2 candy bar? And the lady says, yes. So you know someone like that's just warped and fucked up. So this is the time you need to take risks. And risk calling them out on their fucking bullshit. Like, really put them in their place. You need to shake them the fuck up. And wake them the fuck up. That's what people need. That's why they're coming to you. Because no one else is doing this for them in their life. No one's done it probably since they were a kid. Probably their parents never did this. Their parents never took any risks with them. And that's why they're so fucked up and sheltered in their head. So you need to be the one. They're relying on you. It's your duty, your obligation to take risks on them. Risk offending them. What's the worst that's going to happen? They're going to walk out on you? So what? I've had many people walk out on me. You'll figure it out. And risk taking that conversation to the next level. Risk asking the hard questions. Risk taking that relationship to the next level. Take those damn risks with your team members and your prospects, your clients, your your family. Don't be afraid that in front of your team, you're afraid you're afraid of risking being showing being more vulnerable or showing them more of a human side of you. We're not, we're not fucking humans in this group. We are savages. We are fucking savage. We are not humans. We're maybe like one percent human, but there is some human in our DNA. So don't be afraid to show that one percent of human to your team, thinking that you're gonna you're gonna look too weak. Or look too vulnerable, or not not look like a good leader, or whatever. Don't don't sit with that type of mindset. Risk letting your team see you screw up. Obviously, you don't want to screw up, but shit could happen. But don't don't not make a move because you're too afraid of your team seeing that you're going to screw up. They're allowed to see that you're one percent human. They're allowed to see it. We probably don't push enough. We probably don't push hard enough in any of these areas, especially when it comes to risk taking. So risk, you know, lose your ego a little bit when it comes time to delegate some tasks and give up some parts of things you've been doing for years that help build up your business. It's time to now let them go. So you need to, is that a risk? Fuck yeah, it's a risk. You know, giving those tasks or duties to someone else, responsibilities to someone else, and you're, you're afraid of letting go of it. 
you need to lose your ego, take the risk, and put it on someone else. Are they going to fuck shit up? Of course they are. You're going to deal with it. You're going to adapt, overcome. They're going to learn from it. You're going to get better from it. Stop playing it safe. Stop playing it safe all the time. You're, you're inside the wire. In the Marine Corps, we call it inside the wire. Your base is set up. Your defense are set up. It's where you are, all your equipment is, all your men, all your vehicles, all your tanks are inside the wire. It's nice and safe. It's You're protected by your ego. You're living inside the wire if you're not taking risks. You're protected by your ego and the way that you've been taught your whole life or whatever. It's blinding you. It's blinding you. It's making you miss opportunities. So what you need to do is climb up that fucking fence. Climb over the wire. I don't care if it's barbed wire. I don't care if it's electrical wire. And you're getting zapped and sliced up and you're, you're, you're getting scraped all over the place. That's what it takes to take it to the next level. You might have to take some bumps and bruises. Who gives a fuck? You're a tough. You're a warrior. You are a savage. You can handle that. And then guess what? Once you come outside the wire, you need to explore. That's when you start taking risks. When you're a little more vulnerable. And then you need to find that prospect, that team member, that, that person you're leading. Guess what? They have that same wall around themselves. Now you need to climb over their wall and get inside and get a little more deep with them. And take that risk. That's like double risk. You're risking going outside of your wire. Then you got to risk jumping inside someone else's wire to break through to them. Stop living in that little fishbowl, little goldfish in a little fishbowl, nice and safe and secure, surrounded by your nice, fun little ego. And whatever you were taught and brainwashed by your parents or teachers or whoever the hell else, your nuns, your goats, whatever. Bust that fucking glass open. Go see what's out there in the ocean. Will you get will you get eaten by a shark? I don't know. Possibly. Fuck it. But maybe not. Maybe I'll outrun the shark. Maybe I'll outsmart the shark. Maybe you'll just stomp a mud hole in his ass. Who knows? Break that barrier of safety. Stop r- being afraid of risking failure and risk risking your losing your you know damaging your ego or whatever. Risk putting people on the spot, calling them out on their bullshit, and that includes your team. Don't accept bullshit. Don't accept excuses. Put them on the spot. Risk having those tough conversations with your team that you try to avoid, and risk risk the way you lead. That's the way you should be leading. So risk the way you lead, having those tough conversations. You should do it. But start trying something new every day. Start start consciously taking a risk every single day. Trying something new every day. Something that's risky. Something that's out of your comfort zone every day. It's just going to make you stronger and in, invulnerable and impenetrable to the fucking world. Climb that wire. Take a risk every day outside that wire. Every single freaking day. And again, we're talking about risk is different than reckless. Don't just be reckless and do stupid shit. Don't go and, don't go and do that or whatever. There is a difference between that. Be more vulnerable. Step outside that wire. And how far are you willing to go? To get the results that you want to get. To get the outcome you're looking for. To live the life you want to live. Or you just to save that life that's standing in front of you. To lead your team. To help that, that prospect that you know needs you and your product and your services. To save their life, basically. How far are you willing to go? How much risk are you willing to take outside the wire? How much damage are you willing to take to save someone else? Are you? Are you willing to do that? How far will you go to lead your team? How many bumps and bruises will you take to protect your team? You're their protector. You're their defender. You're your client's protector, your family, your kids, your, your, your spouse, your fucking pet goat. You're all their defender. The prospect, you're their defender. They're coming to you for help. You're their defender. You're going to take some bumps and bruises. You have to shield them from some things. Are you willing to take that? Are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing to take that risk and, and, and have faith that you're tough enough to take that shit? Your, your battlefield entrepreneurial armor is, th- is thick enough? Because guess what? No one else is going to do this shit for them except for you. And that goes for your prospect, that goes for your team members, that goes for your family, that goes for your current clients, your kids, your neighbors, your fucking enemies. No one in their life is willing to take risks for them. No one in their life is willing to put them in their place, to ask the tough questions, to break through and shatter them and and free them from that fishbowl. No one else is willing to do it their entire life. They've been sheltered. They're stuck inside their own wire. No one has been willing to do it their entire life. That's why it's your fucking duty and your obligation to take those risks for them. Because you say you want to help people. We want to inspire people. We want to help people. We want to make an impact on the community. All this other stuff. We want to donate. All this, of course. And we want to make some fucking money. Obviously along the way. So no one else is going to do it for them. You know who else is not going to do this for them? Your fucking competitors. Your competitors are not going to do this stuff for them. Think about that. This Just by taking risks with all these people in, in, your, in your sector. This automatically puts you up above and beyond the rest. It automatically makes you stand out as a fucking leader. As an influencer, as someone that they want to follow, someone they will pay for whatever you're selling. Because you are the only one doing this shit for them in their life. I guarantee you no one does this for these people. And it's going to make you stand out like a fucking star.
Makes sense? Makes sense to me in my head. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.